Today is Tuesday, October 6, 2015. I am your host, Steven Sanchez, and this is Marijuana Minute. Cannabis user beware. Despite laws allowing recreational use in Oregon, Washington, or Colorado, employers can still test you for marijuana consumption regardless of the purpose, medicinal or not. Since currently it is illegal under federal law, Colorado Supreme Court ruled in July it was legal for a company to terminate an employee who had consumed cannabis legally under state law. Ultimately, federal law trumps state law. However, only Arizona, Delaware, and Minnesota have laws that explicitly protect medical marijuana patients from being fired if they test positive for cannabis when drug tested by an employer. This episode of Marijuana Minute is brought to you by the Rough House Studio Shop, shipping vaporizers and other smoking accessories worldwide at great prices. Use the code Marijuana Minute to save 10% off your order. The Motley Fool has posted an in-depth article on five prominent and influential business leaders who are ready to assist in the cannabis movement. This brings the debate from Main Street to Wall Street. Number one, George Soros, founder and chairman of Soros Fund Management. George agrees marijuana would generate billions in tax dollars while simultaneously saving billions in enforcement and incarceration costs. He suggests that honest and effective drug education is key to keeping our kids safe and informed. Number two, Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Group. Richard claims cannabis prohibition is a dismal global policy failure. Millions of otherwise productive lives are wasted in jail for marijuana possession, and the potential revenue of 1.4 billion in California alone continues to keep the underworld in business. Number three, John Mackey, co-CEO and co-founder of Whole Foods Market. John, a self-identified classic liberal and pro-choice advocate, is in favor of marijuana legalization. Co-CEO Mackey heavily considers that if the plant were legal and its stores had the support of the local community, the grocery chain would become a retailer of gourmet cannabis products. Number four, Peter Thiel, PayPal co-founder and venture capitalist. Peter is not only a supporter, but also an investor in the marijuana movement. The PayPal co-founder invested 75 million in Privateer, a company looking to open various avenues for the marijuana supply chain. Not only is Privateer mailing medical marijuana to eligible patients, it also owns Leafly which is a user review website for marijuana products currently running commercials on public radio. Number five, George Zimmer, founder and former CEO of Men's Warehouse. George, a cannabis user for about 50 years, is throwing his full support behind next year's initiative to legalize marijuana in California. Zimmer calls the ban the biggest con ever perpetrated and continues to say, Everybody in this country knows what the truth here is, except the 535 people we elect to make these decisions in Washington, D.C. The power and the influence of the business leaders will help the movement and momentum of advertising power for cannabis to reach its target audience, the voters. This has been Marijuana Minute. Until next time, peace, love, and unity.